um, Mackenzie moved here from New Jersey um, in the summer of 2019. She started at Ten Oaks as a sixth grader. She's currently an eighth grader. Um, she plays sports. She plays the Carolina Forest volleyball. Um, she also plays softball since she's been six. Yeah. But this year she can't because she has another medical ailment. So she missed tryouts this year, but she'll be able to play in the summer with her summer leagues. Um, she's a member of Wellsprings Church. She works with the preschoolers um, uh, here at Ten Oaks. She's part of our National Honor Society and Fox Friendly Faces, which is a guidance, um, a guidance counselor group that helps other students who aren't quite as um, confident as Mackenzie is. And she's there to help them feel more confident, have friends, know that they can come to her when they have problems. I first noticed Mackenzie, um, her seventh grade, we're on the second floor, and I watched her bebop, her full of energy, up and down the hall at the end of the day, and this is what you always see. And then in April, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And I saw her and I wondered if I could be as beautiful and resilient and confident as I started the journey to the unknown. And I stopped her in the hall one day I had no idea who she was. I just knew that she was someone that I admired. And I held out my hands. She looked at me and she had no idea who I was. <laughs> and I said, I need you to know how much I admire you, your bravery and your courage, and you're always so happy. And she said, thanks. <laughs> she had no idea why I would do such a thing. And this is what I always got. So she didn't know until I ended up having her in my class in August when she, this bright, shining, happy girl shows up at my door and I was like, oh, I have you. And then as the, the year went on, I explained to her why I stopped her in the hall and why I admired her because I truly felt that she needed to know that not only do the students look to her and admire her, that adults also do. And I, I really i am proud of her as she's taken her something that would devastate a lot of people. She just takes it like it's her life and let's move on. That's why I truly admire her. And she's a leader. She She's truly a leader. She's a born leader. She comes in and she's happy and she says good morning to everyone. Um, there's never a stranger to Mackenzie. Uh, the kids were cheering for her as we walked out. Go Mackenzie, go Kenzie, go Kenzie. Um, you got this. Uh, just her positive attitude. Everyone looks to her as a, a role model, as an example. Um, they want to be on her team. They want to be her partner. Um, they just want to walk down the hall with her because she is always full of energy. She's always positive, always has something nice to say, and always has that smile that she has now. There's, I have never seen her, even when she asks for questions, um, I, I don't understand this. It's with a smile. I'm not very often at a loss of words, but to describe Mackenzie, I, I don't know how else to describe her except full of energy and life. And she is a, a, a lovely, God-fearing woman who we all look to. She's just a very humble, I, I don't think she realizes she's a leader. She just has no idea what she does for students and adults. And I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. <laughs> But I, I, it's, 
the day I held her hand and I just went back in my classroom and I cried and cried. And you have no idea how beautiful you are you. and what a leader you are and how we look to you and I know I should have told you sooner. Thank you. <laughs> Such a good girl.